filming long way round and long way down, lots of people ask me when will you do long way up. Now, Yuna and Charlie haven't set the date to it yet, but I just discovered here at the Imperial College that some guys are preparing to steal the show. Hi there, I'm Alex Shea, project manager for Racing Green Endurance. And what we are doing is we are converting this car into an electric supercar with the range longer than any other electric car which has been on the road before, about four to 500 kilometers. And what we're going to do with this is race it up the Pan American Highway, which is the longest road in the world, about 26,000 kilometers long. It's a perfect test for our technology because we're gonna pass through different climates. We're gonna start in the Arctic, we're gonna pass through desert, we're gonna pass through the, uh, tropical weather. It's gonna be a perfect test of range and of endurance. We're really interested on the route in uh, electricity generation, energy generation. Well, it's also how it's used, which is perhaps the more important thing. Uh, you've got farming, agriculture, mining, industries which use huge quantities of energy, and the way they use it is going to have to change in the coming years, and we're going to go and visit these industries and see how. It's almost mainly about education and awareness raising. What we're trying to do with this project is show to the public that electric cars are no longer slow and boring. They're cool, they're sexy, they're fast, and they can do amazing things on the road. Will it be all plain sailing? Uh, I'm sure we'll come across um, probably daily challenges, which hopefully we'll be able to surmount. I mean, one of my concerns is um, if you look at the car, obviously, like, the ride height is pretty low. You know, we're talking about a couple of inches, three inches there. So we need to raise that up a little bit. We're going to be one of the first electric cars in the world that has two motors installed in it. One here and one here. But that in itself presents challenges because they're not physically connected. And the motors have to run exactly at the same speeds. So we have to have a sophisticated control system here. That's one of the challenges. Cooling is an issue. Even electric cars need cooling. These motors here are the best, but nobody has tested them on the endurance kind of legs that we're going to be doing. With any electric vehicle, the challenge is in the batteries. We've got 56 kilowatt hours of lithium ion phosphate batteries. No one ever put so much of them in one car. Managing all those cells, packaging them, making sure they don't overheat, balancing them, it's, this is a huge challenge. We want to avoid very hard to blow up. I mean, Guinness Book of Records, no one has done a, a trip like this in a battery electric vehicle, so it's going to be a first. Will it work though? Is it enough? Uh, we hope so. We've got quite a tight um, timeline. For the next two months, up until mid-January, we'll be putting in all the extra paraphernalia, batteries, motor, motor controllers, software, that kind of stuff. We have to waterproof all the high-voltage electric electrics. At the end of January, we'll road legalize it, so that'll take a couple more weeks of just fiddling and getting it all legal and whatnot. And then, beginning of May, we hit southern Argentina, start our epic adventure up the Pan American Highway. That'll take about 70 or 80 days until we get to the Arctic Sea in Alaska. And from there, we'll cruise it back down to New York, try and get there for mid-August, maybe early September if we you know, spend a lot more time in various places. And then we come home. What I love about this project is just absolutely awesome. Look at the car, it just looks great. The team's great. I'm gonna go on for a really, really good and long adventure. It's like my little kid's dream to build a car yourself. My favorite bit about the project is the idea of promoting a clean energy. Just playing with fast cars and high voltages is what gets me off. <laughs> <laughs> One big happy family, but I'm sure, um, you know, <laughs> I'm sure as we start actually driving around, we will, uh, you know, and getting some, in some uh, tense situations. We'll, family feuds. We'll see what really comes out. <laughs>